bring change. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Um, at this conference, we witnessed actually that the field of translational imaging is really rapidly growing, yeah. and many new young people come in. Uh, a lot of them have clinical backgrounds and um, want to pursue a, a career in neuroimaging. Right. So uh, we were wondering if you could maybe give us your top three tips for um, young researchers, researchers who start out from a clinical background. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Well, firstly, I think my, my first tip is you know, no question's a dumb question. You know, don't ever be afraid to go out to a senior scientist or just in an area that you're not as familiar with or not as comfortable with and ask about that question. Ask your ask about the field. Ask you know how how did they get into it? What kind of things led them into that? You know, we have to remember we were all junior scientists and and just starting off at one point. And I found that everyone is really um, happy and helpful in sharing their knowledge. That's the first thing. I think secondly, make as many connections as possible. You can see the field is incredibly diverse. We've got many different imaging platforms, and kind of the, the future I'm seeing is where we're going to begin more and more to combine things in multimodal fashion. No one can be an expert in all those areas. Mm -hmm. We all need a lot of good friends. Mm -hmm. um, so we can start to, to kind of translate information from different findings from different research studies to kind of understand this you know, marvelously complex thing, which is the brain. And then I think lastly, um, to build connections with your peers. You know, these are your colleagues, these are your reviewers of your grants and your papers in the future. These are the people who are going to you know, give you students for your lab as you move along. And so I think the more interconnected you can become with your peer group mm -hmm. as you kind of rise up through the ranks, um, the better suited you'll be when you need that friend who knows a technique that you don't. And you can call upon them to then come in and really enrich your science. Thanks very much, Lara. These were yeah. three very useful tips. Mm -hmm. um,